If we want to convert a finite decimal into a fraction, it is quite easy. The main key is that the denominator is going to be the units of the last decimal place used. For example, suppose we have 3.14, which is not pi, but is, uh, is a, an approximation of pi. What is this? This is 3 plus 1 tenth plus 4 hundredths. What's the common denominator? It's going to be 100. So this is 3 times 100 over 100 plus 1 over 10. What do we have to multiply? We have to multiply top and bottom by 10. And then we add 4 over 100. Now we get 300 hundredths plus 10 hundredths plus 4 hundredths adds all up to 314 one hundredths. As I said, the denominator is the units of the last decimal place used. We went through to the hundredths place. This, you don't have to do it this uh, long at all. You could simply say 25.078. What is that? This is the one thousandths place. And so this number is 25078 divided by a thousand. If you don't believe me, you can plug it into a calculator because look, dividing by a thousand removes the decimal place three places to the left. One, two, three. It's going to put the decimal place right there, which is where we want it. One last example. Let's say you have 487.101965. Well, you want to write this as a fraction? That's easy. 487101965. We want to move the decimal place how many places? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that will totally do it.